Gogeta in the movie. You need Gogeta. All right, so this matchup can be kind of really obnoxious for uh, for Bowser if he knows his loops, because almost everything that Yoshi has can actually break tough guy, unless he's doing the uh, the version that comes off the tilts. Uh, that does include jabs, by the way. Uh, Yoshi having a two hit jab means that he does actually get to break tough guy in those circumstances. Of course, that doesn't change the fact that uh, Bowser just does like super heavy hits. He can knock out. Yoshi from uh from his heavy armor not very easily but kind of easily downer is not super useful uh, especially if uh, especially if Bowser's on the ground at a low, super low percent it is possible to get punished from that the biggest thing in this matchup honestly is going to be how uh, Cosmic B kind of approaches uh, movement with Yoshi because Yoshi does have the aerial superiority. Uh, he has super quick hitboxes. He has a lot of movement speed. But uh, if Bowser manages to get like one or two hits, it's gonna be an advantage and gonna be able to like get some pretty big hits in. And wow, that was a pretty well spaced up smash from uh, what's his face? Sorry, from Slade. Sorry about that, Slade. Oh, that was actually a really good, uh... So Yoshi Nair does not have that much landing lag. Uh, he actually used the jab to prevent getting grabbed by, uh, by Cosmic B there. And Slade doing a pretty good job, actually, of uh, racking on damage. Playing it generally pretty safe overall. But he's gotta be careful. Uh, he can't really be approaching Bowser like that. Oh my goodness, and that was a beautiful use of the Bowser bomb. Uh, Yoshi's... Up there, uh, Yoshi's second jump does not let him snap to the ledge that easily. Uh, there's actually a clip going around of Yoshi's using their down B to snap from the ledge because they can't, unless they air dodge or perform some kind of B move, they don't snap to the ledge immediately about coming upon. Ooh, my goodness, that was a wonderful jab block from Slade. And just like that, this game has actually become super evil. A good use of a uh, good use of heavy armor coming out from Slade there to. To get the punish, and having the presence of mind to do it too, he knew that uh, he knew that Cosmic B was gonna go for the uh, go for the forward air out of the up air. It is technically a true combo, but that doesn't mean that he can't punish using heavy armor uh, knockback reduction. Big egg. And for the really the first time in this match, uh, Slade has the advantage. Uh, Cosmic P has never been at a at a deficit so far throughout the set. Yeah, well, if this player is really swinging super hard, trying to see if they can get some kind of advantage, you have to be very careful when they do that. And unfortunately, Slade whiffing that uh, that proper punish there. Oh, very nice, very good up smash. Uh, Yoshi does have an up smash that covers most of the platform, so if you uh, if you're able to react to it, especially if you do a uh, a rolling tech, you are able to get super good punishes on the PS2 platforms using Yoshi's up smash. All right, let's see what um let's see what Cosmic B's uh, bands are gonna be or uh, his counter picks gonna be. All right, so Slade banned Battlefield and Yoshi. And we are going to... Smashville, okay. Interesting choice coming from... Um, very interesting choice coming from Cosmo D. I'm not 100% certain why he would choose to go there. Uh, it is a stage with a relatively short blast zone on the side, if I'm recalling correctly. Devin, do you know off the top of your head? Huh? <laughs> Smashville. Blast zone size on, on the sides. It's smaller uh, right, than most like, stages. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why Cosmic B would choose to go here. 
But most players, uh, they usually don't, that doesn't usually come into their mentality. Most players don't really know like, the size of the stages that well. Uh, oftentimes it's just comfort picks. It's like, yeah, where am I comfortable? Oh, and there we go. Like, the egg actually getting destroyed by Bowser in there. Oh, and a super close fare coming from, uh, from Slade, almost taking out Cosmic B just right then and there. And again, we see the Bowser Bomb coming in uh, coming in to help out Cosmic B. He got a really early uh, kill there using the Bowser Bomb right at the ledge. Oh, good mash up from Cosmic B. He probably took more damage than he would have liked to. But it didn't change the fact that he managed to actually get out without get taking that super strong hit. I actually like the way that Slade has been playing this so far. He's looking for, uh, he's trying to look for some kind of uh, follow up he can do that, like these small glancing hits. Yoshi does have the mobility to do that. And overall, he's just trying to play it kind of conservatively. We see there, even though um, Slade was at 80%, he did pull back a little bit to try to reduce the amount of distance that travel after getting side beat. And a pretty good up smash coming out. Honestly, these up smashes have been super on point from Slade uh, to try to take out Cosmic B early. And this was, that was Cosmic B's best opportunity to take the stock right there, but he didn't uh, go for it. But you know what? But side beat is not enough. Perfect DI coming out from Slade. Very well done. Uh, that was definitely surviving by the skin of your teeth, and you know what? It wasn't, uh, you didn't get that much opportunity to, to rack on that much damage afterwards, but it is something. These wave landings coming from Slade are actually pretty good too. Nice. Yep, and that is something that, uh, that Yoshi has that now he doesn't. He's allowed to choose to go through platforms, uh, unlike most characters that have that kind of committal, uh, down B. And that's one of the biggest uh, distinctions between these two characters is that he is not a. That gives him a lot of options for coming back if he chooses to drop on top of someone, either because he's out of a jump or he doesn't want to use their dodge or he just feels like he regrets options best. It does give him uh, a little bit of extra choice. All right, I'm not sure if Cosmic P didn't realize that he didn't have a jump or if he just was like, yeah, I'm sick of this. That was really interesting. Not really sure why, uh, what happened there, but alright. <laughs> Not like this, indeed. Ah, uh, I didn't realize his jump was gone, that's unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna have our next stream it is gonna be Sensei versus JP. So, Devin, you know. I did you pay on before, so you shouldn't have that issue you've been having lately. Luckily. What? <laughs> I'm saying DJP versus Sensei is next. Okay. 